Oh, baby. Sounds like we're live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TV and D. This is our uh, this is our little role playing show where uh, we take classic television shows and we sort of put them through a Dungeons and Dragons grinder uh, and see what comes out. Carolyn's here. Eli's here. Tony's here. And wait, who is this? There's there's a person here this week. Nathan Yaffe's here. Nathan. Oh wait, uh, it's me. Hi. Hello. Nathan, thank Hello. you so much. Great to be here. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, thank you for coming. You're kind of our good luck charm at this point. Uh, so he's like, <laughs> that's the to... jinx if I've ever heard one. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's the Yaffe bump. We got the Yaffe bump. It all bump. comes down to you, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this is uh, the Happy. end of our King of the Hill campaign. We've done two King of the Hill adventures before this. Uh, we're wrapping it up. We'll take a week off after this, and we'll come back with something else. Uh, Nathan, are you a King of the Hill guy at all? I love King of the Hill. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Some call him um, the King of, King of the Hill. <laughs> wow. At, at, the, at least, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, at, least at least a duke. At least a duke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I do yeah. need to get a beard from the costume closet. Some uh, Jason was saying that I need to get a beard to match you guys. Oh yeah, because you oh, all yeah. have beards. But I think beard you crew. all should get tits and then <laughs> shave your beards. You got to match me. I'm, ar- I'm already there, Carolyn. This is a fair exchange. <laughs> I mean, this is yeah. I mean, this sort of this sort of kind of like. Behind the scenes stuff, we can we can discuss off stream about. Okay, 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 okay. Getting okay. breast implants. Yeah, in. how's everyone's okay. boobs coming in? <laughs> Not bad. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's do a quick one through. Uh, so our adventures have been very self-contained up until this point. Uh, I believe the first adventure was all about uh, Hank Boomhauer uh, and Dale going out and hunting an owl bear. Yes. Uh, the second adventure was, uh, let's see, going after a thieves guild, finding Dale's skeleton uh, that Bony was stolen Tony. off of the street. <laughs> <laughs> finding Bony Tony. <laughs> I like how Tony immediately looked away like, who said that? <laughs> Is he in the room with us, folks? Where's Dale? Let's talk to Dale. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're uh we're mixing things up a little bit this time. Carolyn, you've been playing Boomhauer up until this point, but we're uh we decided to graduate one of the characters up from Hireling to uh a full adventurer. So Carolyn, who are you playing? Dad, I'm playing Bobby Hill. And I love my dad. <laughs> Bobby was <laughs> gra- has graduated from being a demon to being an acolyte pyromancer in his own right. And uh, so just like his father slash summoner, he has some fire powers. This is like uh, the freakiest Pinocchio story ever told. <laughs> <laughs> the freakiest Pinocchio story ever told. Dad, I want to be a real boy. <laughs> uh, Bob I about, things on fire. Bobby's about to go through a uh, pyromancer rite of passage uh, that Hank probably knows a lot about and had to do once upon a time when he was a young pyromancer. Um, Nathan, who are you playing? Uh, I am playing Peggy Hill. (laughs) And I just want to say, Bobby, I am so proud of you and by extension, myself, for being (laughs) such a good mother to you. Oh, thanks, Mom. The staccato of color Peggy you. Hill is spot on. So, Peggy Hill. Peggy's the, what, a <laughs> so what is the relation yeah. here in, in this this marriage uh, and <laughs> this, this child uh, who former former uh, um, familiar now fledging necromancer? Yeah, it's uncommon, but you can adopt a familiar. If you do the paperwork, you can... <laughs> the scroll family. work if you do well, the scroll work Hank and Peggy had to adopt on account of his narrow urethra so mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, it's nothing to be ashamed of Hank I told you that in a cone of silence Peggy <laughs> oh, Hank. nothing stays in the cone of silence with me well uh, why do I even cast it 
I am not a mind reader. <laughs> Peggy, you, you and I both know that you could at one point read minds. It was one of the magics that was available to you. Uh, Eli, you are, are Eli. You are obviously playing uh, Hank Hill. Whoa, Hank Hill. Uh, <laughs> yes. And uh, Tony, you are playing Dale. I'm Dale Gribble. Wait, I won't shout as much this time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Dale. I think it's very. I think it's extremely Dale to not be able to be as loud because your wife asked you to quiet down, though. You're very <laughs> on character. Nancy. Like, Him trails, and she's like, "Cut, Dale, please." <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, how about I give some a little context for what we're doing tonight, and then we can figure out why Dale is here. Uh, on this uh, sort of family outing and uh, rite of passage for Bobby. Um, but uh, Bobby, as an acolyte pyromancer coming into your own, uh, you have to uh, make your way, a sort of pilgrimage, to the Temple of Superior Flame. A, uh, a uh, temple like sort of dedicated to the gods of propane. Uh, and this is a big deal. As I mentioned earlier, Hank has uh, likely done this himself many years ago. Uh, this is a big, big deal. You, of course, need an adventuring party to go with you. Uh, you can't do it alone. Um, so your parents are here. And and Dale. And Dale. Uh, if I had a son, I surely would see him through this pyro, this and that, or whatever. All oh, right, Joseph, right, right. Well, well anyway, Joseph. we're already here now, so I guess we'll just do this. I brought, I decided to bring Dale because I saw him uh, interacting with Joseph, and I thought he could probably learn a couple of things because I think I have the best parents in the world, and they're, you like, really good parents. She and wishes I was your dad. Wait, <laughs> let me try that again. <laughs> I wish I was Bobby's dad. Hold I on. Thought, don't I, get this. You're, I you're thought... here as a personal favor. I didn't want you here. So how about you compose yourself and act with a little respect towards Bobby and what he's trying to accomplish? Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Bobby, honey. I think this we're is, all gonna learn a lot journey. today. Uh so I want uh I want everyone to imagine a sort of like helicopter shot moving through a dense forest. What's a uh, helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you mean uh, the like dragon's a dragon? eye. Of course, of course. A a, uh, a magic griffin's camera eye dragon. view. A magic cinematic dragon. Uh, a griffin more like equivalent to a helicopter. A dragon would more be like we an can figure airplane. What would make a griffin? When you say cinematic. No, dragon, now, right? <laughs> I'm just imagining just a like griffin a can hover? guy with a stone camera on top of a like cartoon. Of course, of course. Oh, okay, really, yeah, it should yeah. be like a beholder's eye view because a beholder could hover like a helicopter. This is going to be the next. Hour no, beholder is definitely canceled. more like a dirigible. I would just like to hear Carolyn. You know what? Next stream this is seems important. Yeah, next Tuesday we're not doing game night. We're having Carolyn explaining why a griffin is more like a helicopter than a dragon is. That's the, mm. that's the think about this programming. Think about this. Last I'll say on this for now. <laughs> Helicopters are the motorcycles of the sky. That's true. That's just true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're, they both can be called uh, choppers. That's it, that's the best. One big reason. The best reasoning I've heard. That's, you know. Brian, so you've been take it going, away. You've, of course, been going on a long trek uh, through <laughs> these woods, uh, heading towards the Temple of the Superior Flame. And uh, you've had to camp out overnight, uh, <clears throat> but the sun is rising over the uh over the horizon uh sort of these vivid uh reds and yellows through the sky uh it's a cool crisp morning um the leaves kind of showing those first signs of autumn uh little bits of yellows and reds in the trees uh bobby we maybe see you coming out of uh your own little tent uh you've had a lot of time to think about what's ahead uh, how are you feeling? Are you nervous? Are you scared? Are you confident? Uh, this is a big day. I'm feeling pretty good. Bobby stands looking out over the beautiful early signs of fall and unfurls his little demon wings and goes <laughs> and just flies up a little bit. 
and just feels like he was nervous last night. It took him a while to fall asleep, but he did. And he had really good, like, bolstering dreams where his whole family and friends were all around him. And he's feeling strong. Like The future is bright. Great. Great. Hank, uh, this yeah. is a big deal. How are you feeling? I'm very this nervous. I'm extremely nervous. Uh, <laughs> I haven't I haven't peed in days. Uh, it's unbelievable. I I emerged from my tent and you know some uh my my whatever my 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 camping jammies are, and I see <laughs> Bobby hovering, and I'm like, Bob, Bobby, conserve your energy. Stop hovering. You don't need to be hovering right now. You you might need to hover in the temple to save that energy. I Today, Dad, I contain multitudes of boundless power. Now, that may be. Uh, I'm not going to argue with that because I don't quite understand it. I think you may have read that one of the television shows I asked you not to watch. Uh, <laughs> but I need to make something clear to you, Bobby, and I've tried to make this clear to you. And, uh, I go in and out of the thing. It's all, <laughs> I've tried to make, make this clear to you a number of times. Bobby, I do need you to understand that there is a possibility you will die today. <laughs> Uh, and as Hank says that, Peggy, uh, how do you enter maybe this scene outside in this campsite? That's right, Bobby. You contain <laughs> boundless power. Well, you hover, sweetie. You hover. Well, do you? Well, when he's got a hover inside, then we'll see who's right. All right, Peggy. If he's tired, oh, I'm not Hank, carrying him. He is him. just. He, he is excited. It is a big day for him, and also for me. Peggy Hill. <laughs> Bobby saying. does a little, with that, bolstered by his mother's kind words, he does a little twirl, and you can see that he's wearing the scarf that he acquired last time. Oh, yeah. It swirls <laughs> around him in a little flourish. I've also, see, Bobby, I've done this trial before, all right? And I've told you once, I'll tell you twice, there are un innumerable things that a scarf could get caught on in there, and i got to <laughs> recommend against it. There's all sorts of traps. There's all sorts of the stonework. There's molding. It's not it's not a helpful accessory for combat. And that's all I'm trying Dad, to say. But if we meet a beholder and need are in need of a makeshift blindfold. Well, beholders aren't going to need a scarf because they don't have necks. We've discussed this, Bobby. You know, I'll put it on my eyes or your eyes. So, uh, our little campsite here, we've got a uh, a smoldering campfire from the night before. We've got uh, Hank and Peggy's tent. We've got Bobby's little tent. What we don't have is a third tent. How does Dale emerge into this scene? Dale does not need to sleep. He is up <laughs> watching always. Is Dale is Dale canonically an elf? Like Dale he just, he just nearby, meditates for four hours. <laughs> uh, Dale has a lot of thoughts about what Dale might be. Dale doesn't even know. Dale doesn't talk <laughs> in the third person, so um <laughs> so I, I think Dale's nearby and he he is unzipped. And he is letting loose into the open air, saying, Bobby, get over here. We'll have a nice surrogate father-son moment. H hurry up. I'm, I'm starting to run dry on the tank. And, you know, Dale. we're going to have a, a nice little a little bonding moment. He, oh, and I'm out. Dale, could you, if you have to urinate, could you at least face away from the camp? Uh, you know what? To see that. I'll face where I very well please, Hank. Is Bobby, that put a... that scarf over your eyes. <laughs> yeah, just a little personal timeout. Bonding father-son moment to pee together? No. Let, we can talk about this off-stream. We can talk Look, about this off-stream. Dale thinks so. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Just Dale. <laughs> just like... checking. Does this like... look like a normal father-son interaction to you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Casey says, Dale only Topical. pees due north. It's canon. Somebody fire I mean, the that's cannon. That's from the cannon. show, actually. Oh, is it? Uh, all right. So you're going to be trekking through the woods, uh, heading up towards the entrance of the Temple of the Superior Flame. What I need everyone to do is make a strength challenge roll. You're going to have to hit a 12 or higher. This is uh, kind of your endurance hiking. Can we also compliment Brian's uh, art, his art of the Temple of the Eternal Flame? Because <laughs> I think you, I think maybe we're sensitive from us saying that most of your drawings look like a stomach or a dick or balls. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian, put in the put in the art the art time here to draw us a beautiful temple. 
Yeah, oh, that's, that's a really for good. Sure. Wow. Uh, this, this it, is my... it is. It is. It is on fire. <laughs> it is currently it's, on fire. Um, it's sort it's of like on fire. It looks like it's on fire. Of fact. If yeah. only we had someone who was really good, really good at drawing. I'm here, Carolyn. Oh right, 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 right. right. <laughs> uh, who's rolling first? What are we? It's a strength roll. Uh, I will go first. Who oh, yeah. Sixteen. <laughs> Uh, oh, Nathan, would you mind Big turning Hill on your is 3D dice? Uh, oh. in, the, in your settings, uh, there's mm -hmm. the 3D dice option. Uh, but you rolled a 16, so Peggy Hill just keeps marching up absolutely no problem. It really is a shame that we're not all in person, because I'm sure we would have tried to find a awful way to, like, if Cassie were here, we would jerry-rig a boggle to roll the dice for us. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be amazing. <laughs> Carolyn, that's yeah. your, your die out there, right? I rolled an 11. Let's see. Uh, Lexi, plus your strength? Oh, do, 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 do. That's a plus one. So that's, that's 12. A strong 15 year old. Good Lord. What is he, 12? Bobby? Or Thanks, Dad. Bobby? <laughs> I think he's you... canonically like a thousand because he's a demon. Could be. But in demon years, <laughs> but in human years, years it, yeah, 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 which is 15 in, right. in, in human years. Here, here goes. It's like head. you don't pay attention to our canon at all. Yeah. That's Dad. not great. I got a five. Oh, got a five. five. Hank, I'll oh, deal with Hank. you in a second. Oh, uh, no. What about Dale? <laughs> That's 18. Uh, hey! So, Hank, you should have emptied the tank like I did. You don't even know Get what happened off. to me this yet. This is what a real father looks like, Bobby. Dale, you don't even uh, know what's happened to me yet. <laughs> Spry of foot and dry of bladder. Dale, let Bobby me experience the consequences of my actions before you add flavor to it. <laughs> so Peggy, Bobby, and Dale crest the hill and can see uh, close by within spitting distance the Temple of the Superior Flame. It's this large castle with these two towers uh, on either side of it. Uh, these sort of like golden uh, arched ceilings sort of in the shape, vague shape of flames. Um, and then a stairway leading up to the double doors. You guys have to like look back and like, wait a second. You see down the trail, Hank is still like making his way up. Hank, how does this compare uh, from when you did this trial as a younger man yourself. Was that, I want to clarify, was that strength check just to climb a hill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By definition, I should be king of the hill. And this is, <laughs> can't, can't, you know, so how does this compare to- You can be king of it, doesn't mean you're hiking it well. Oh, hey, oh. <laughs> the, 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 the ins inside the temple is much flatter. It's a lot of, it's a lot of <laughs> lateral movement. I'm not big on it. You know, I didn't, my calves, my quads aren't the strongest. I've got, my doctor says I've got weak quads. Uh, <laughs> remember Which to breathe, is, of Hank. course, a, I'm breathing, a magical Peggy. ailment in this world. Quick quads. Peggy, do you have my straps? My quad straps? Of course I have your quad straps here. Let me get them for you. I strap my quad straps onto my legs, and I feel immediately better. <laughs> Uh, Hank, you're going to take three damage kind of as representing like the stamina that has taken out of you. <laughs> oh, whoa. Bru and That's a brutal a of season finale. This Off rules. to a brutal start. Hey, you this guys know when you can't go up yeah. a hill and it 25% kills you? You know when that happens? <laughs> yeah, Eli, it's called hiking. <laughs> yeah. You know, that does sound like every in Los Angeles. <laughs> Me and uh, Dale and, and, and Bobby being the only surviving characters. <laughs> It'd be great. All right. I've taken my one quarter of my life force from the hill. <laughs> the uh, hill giveth and the hill taketh away. This one remaining flame doesn't want to erase. So that's fun. That's the, fun. That's the eternal flame. That's that's the eternal flame, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, <laughs> that's the eternal flame. Moving on. Sorry, I'm bringing my, uh... <laughs> I had this that's... all figured out, that's and uh, it's going really well. It's eternal flame. Eternal flame. So you, you guys eventually reach the temple. 
Ooh. Ooh. A, uh, a set of stone stairs leads up to this circular stone platform. Uh, <clears throat> two statues of great pyromancers of old tower over you, uh, like 10 feet tall. Um, you know, each hand's held out, f- uh, stone flame summoned in them. Uh, and there are these large metallic doors. Uh, what, why not? Flames etched into the metal. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, yeah, can uh, I salute the statues? Is that possible? <laughs> you salute the statues. Dale uh, sees the first statue and says, I can take them, and then turns around not seeing the second one and goes, ah! <laughs> uh, okay, could somebody make a perception check for me? I'll right. make a perception check. That'll be wisdom. That's a 11. You don't notice anything too crazy. Uh, okay. But uh, what you do see on the, uh, the set of doors uh, are um, etched under the flames are the relief carvings of like two people per door and what appear to be like in a, like a pushing motion. Oh, I thought they so might there's be two people on one door, two people on another door, and they seem to have like a pushing. Uh, is this just like a D and D like push to exit like illustration? <laughs> this is just like a, like, a bat to a door uh, style yeah. illustration. And for there's, okay, there's really annoying doors where the, the the relief carved into it is two people pulling, but it's actually a push door, and you look like an idiot. <laughs> like, oh, everyone saw me. <laughs> All right. Well, well, let's divvy up. Thank, I just want to take a moment and thank you all for coming on this grand adventure with me as I ascend into, from puppethood into personville. Let's all divvy up a door. I'll take the right one. Now, Bobby, what do you, what do you, I'll have to say, what do you think a puppet is? Or, and did you think you, you were a puppet? <laughs> All I know, Dad, is that I was summoned from the flames of hell, <laughs> from whence the gods themselves were birthed, and now I walk this mortal plane with those who I consider my family. I turned to Peggy and I'm like, I told you he wasn't ready to watch Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't ready now, then he's never going to be ready, Hank. You can't coddle the boy. <laughs> While the two of them are arguing, I put an arm around Bobby and just say, Thanks, son. <laughs> well, what have I told you about trying to illegitimately adopt my son? There was a lot of paperwork we had to fill out, Dale, and you are not going to get away with not doing that yourself. Uh, I'm I'll fill make a out quick the paperwork when Hank is dead, which might be soon. <laughs> 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 He's got a point. I just made a random encounter roll. There is no random encounter. Okay. Uh, I'd like to open up these doors. Seems like that's... Seems like our path is clear, guys. This is your trial. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll try to... I'm like, wait on. All right, Bobby. Well, I'm going to try to offer minimal guidance to you because I do want you to achieve this for yourself because I think that's important. So, you know what? Pick whatever door tickles your fancy and get in there once again i do have to say the wrong decision may result in your death dad i appreciate your begrudging support i will take fear fear fear-based support i will take the right door uh, and on just as i hope to on the day of my wedding have my mother by my side Peggy Hill, will you do me the honor of pushing this door open with me? Yes, I will. And that means you, Dad, and Dale on the left. You can call me Dad, too. <laughs> when I hear okay, it, Dad, too. When I hear Okay, it, Dad, too, and Dad, get ready to push. When, when I hear, um, uh, when I hear uh, that Peggy's going to open the door with Bobby, I go, just like under my breath, I'm like, the gods aren't going to like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. the gods love me. 
Uh, okay, everyone. I need everyone to make another strength check. This time you only each need to hit a 10. Okay. Uh, I'll go first. As it's I try. A 10 exactly! Huzzah! For a total of 11. Yeah, it'll go. Should we just go <laughs> clockwise? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. No, you got it. Maybe we should have gone clockwise. Oh, no, that is a three. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, oh, next. Uh, uh, yeah, let's do everybody, and I'll, I'll deal with the. Uh, I'll go. I'm going. Oh no, I'm not. I already did. That's a nine plus my two, so that's a eleven. This okay. is a ten oh, to me? plus my one, so it's yes, uh, ten. Oh yeah, that's a dirty <laughs> twenty, baby. Hey, dirty twenty, great. Uh, so that means Dale and Peggy failed. Uh, oh, Peggy, I thought we had ten. Oh, sorry, sorry. Only I was, Peggy. I was 10 with my plus it's one. only Peggy. Only okay. Peggy. Uh, so you uh, push open the doors with a slow creak <clears throat> as they swing open. Uh, Peggy, however, you are deemed unworthy and begin to smolder and smoke uh, and then <laughs> into a little bit of flame. Hank! Hank! Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you take over... four damage before it. Smolders yeah. out. I, I'm I'm running over and take off my shirt and I'm batting out the flames, <laughs> and I'm just like not trying to embarrass her, but I'm like, you and I both know the gods don't love you that much. <laughs> You've made some enemies. I love myself enough for all the gods anyway. Well, your ten doesn't make <clears throat> you less on fire. No, it doesn't. <laughs> for the first time today, Bobby feels a little bit of fear. He's seen his parents really as these infallible bastions of strength. And now today, seeing his mother besinged at the very start, he feels afraid. Sure. Peggy, uh, surely take... you understand, and I mean no offense. When Hank dies, I will be searching for a new mother for our young Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Already married, has a son, looking to start fresh. <laughs> I mean... Another, another mother. <laughs> okay. Uh, Eli, if you wouldn't mind flipping the camera to uh, roll 20 here. Um, I have a little bit of a map. Uh, so the doors swing open and you uh, enter this dark hallway. Uh, large vaulted ceilings, uh, cobwebs about. Uh, this temple has been largely left unattended for a long time. Except, Bobby, uh, when you made that perception check before, what you missed is that there's a bit of a crumbling in the wall. Like the wall has been broken past uh, or like dug into. Something else is here. And what I need chat's help with is who has entered and sort of, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, invaded ruined this temple uh uh desecrated defiled. De defiled or desecrated this temple uh is it treasure hunters or is it goblins and it's well chat immediately team. said brisket yeah. which not then brisket's not one of the options Look, we have <laughs> chat's gonna say brisket all right they're gonna say brisket <laughs> How is that a reference to a previous stream? Or? It is. Brisket was a uh, mimic, a key lock, a lock mimic, who chat really took a shine to, and has wow. become a big, a big. These friend. are from our, our Seinfeld episodes. Yeah, oh, okay. from way back when. Nathan, do you not watch the show every week? <laughs> I Nathan. watch. I've I've seen parts. That's I, I brisket did not. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was being oh, mean. You have nothing uh, to justify. Uh, now you now you know uh, how it feels. Uh, brisket, <laughs> of course. I, I you said you, you said brisket. I thought you said trisket, like the cracker, and I was confused. Right, right, right. Wait, so you didn't see the trisket episode then? <laughs> no, I missed that one. I was so. trying to get a Bill voice ready for this, but I don't, don't think I pulled it off. But I did realize while trying to learn the Bill voice that Bill's voice is the stapler guy from Office Space. Oh, yeah. That so guy's in everything. Oh, he's What's great. Oh, I can't do it. I'm not even trying. 
<laughs> oh, where did Winnebago go? <laughs> oh, I must have spun it too hard. <laughs> spun it too hard. Uh, Was okay. It uh, seems like goblins, right? I also think goblins. Uh, so that means you open up the doors. You see this long hallway. Uh, there is a, Eli, if you don't mind uh, holding on roll 20, I don't know what we're on at the moment. We're on roll 20. Uh, Great. Uh, so there is a door up here, and then there is a large statue of some kind of like fire demon. Uh, and then also there are, uh, let's say, 1d8 goblins running around. Eight. There are a full eight. 1d8? 1d8. They're little oh. bastards. Uh, running around wrecking everything in sight. Just if there's a tapestry or art on the wall, they're tearing it up. Uh, if the statue one's hanging on it, taking a piss. Whoa. Um, gross. There's how many goblins? Eight. Full, the full eight of them? A full yeah. eight of them. What are the odds of that? One, one in eight. eight. One in eight, eight or so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, they are everywhere and they are ruining this sacred place. Hank, how does that make you feel? I'm just confused mostly, I think, because I'm like, I'm just like, did they change the trial? I don't. Bo Bobby, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Do I have any? Because I'm, I'm in a pact. My, I get my powers of pyromancy from the my pact with the god propane. Like, is there any way for me to like contact them and be like, what is going on? <laughs> uh, uh it appears that uh, since this temple maybe has not been kept in the repair that it has, it's been open for monsters to use as a den. Did they open oh. a new temple and not <laughs> tell me? <laughs> well, I, I did. I, I I did win substitute teacher of the year, nineteen ninety six, and uh, so I do know how to speak to goblins. Oh, so, if you would like me, <laughs> you're a substitute. To... You're a substitute goblinese teacher, right? <laughs> yes. Gob goblin English. <laughs> I don't know what goblin English. Yeah. <laughs> Goblins speak gobbledygook. Gob they speak goblin English. Goblin English. Now they speak goblin English. <laughs> goblin English. Now they speak goblin English. Because it's fun to say. Here I thought it was Esperanto. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, Peggy. Well, if you could ask me, <laughs> Peggy, if you could go and ask him just. Kind of what exactly is going on, and if you could find out if they're part of the trial, because I don't want to attack them and and mess up Bobby's trial. But I do, I do not remember this part. Okay, yes, I will. I will talk to them, and I'm going to use my languages ability. I make a <laughs> DC 12 intellect check, and on a success, uh, it works. And what you say is intelligible. If not, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, let's see. So, oh, I, I would am, like I to, to, I would like to grant demons favor and uh, give advan grant advantage to my mother on this roll. Oh, thank what you, does... honey, but I won't need it. <laughs> uh, what, what is I granting? Will take it, though. <laughs> well, are you taking it or not? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll take. I, I say I don't need it, but I do take uh, what it. Is, what yeah. does it look like when you grant someone demons advantage? Um, Bobby, uh, I fly up to my mother and I fly around her in a little swirly queue and there's a little, some sparks kind of appear like glitter and I fly around her and her hair kind of whirls up into what looks like flame. And then she's got a vantage. And Bob, Bobby, you All know right. what? I love seeing you support your mother, but I do have to reiterate, I think you should save some of your powers for the trial. <laughs> The trial. So, this is the trial, Dad. Well, we're it's not DC sure about twelve, that. and I already. Son, I yeah, support so I... you in anything that you decide to do. <laughs> uh, so I got a twelve exactly. So you uh in Goblin English, Goblin English, Goblin English. Uh, you managed to uh eke out something uh understandable. What uh what do you say to them? Uh, I say. Hello, I am Peggy Hill, and these are uh, my associates. We are here to help my adopted demon son complete the trial, and we were just wondering 
if you are part of the trial <laughs> or if not, what you're doing here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to give them a uh, pretty... I'm going to give them a reaction roll. Uh, on a one through four, they're going to be helpful. Yeah, ten percent be... of it is still is still wrong. I like. Uh, I say the the hard L's instead of the Y sound. Yeah. Melamo, Peggy Hill. Uh, <laughs> uh, on a five or a six, they're uh, okay. On a five, their reaction is going to be a little more guarded. On a six, it's going to be hostile. One through four, Great. they may be helpful. Mm. Great. Hey, that is a three. Looking helpful. Uh, and uh, one of the goblins steps up. He's a, a little green warty bastard with a stringy black hair. Uh, oh, yeah, head like the size a of a pumpkin, like a goblin. Uh, beady red eyes, and uh, he steps up and uh goes, "Hello, Peggy Hill. <laughs> we know nothing about a trial." We just found this place, and we live here now. What are they saying? They found this place, and they live here now. Or oh. they uh, <laughs> they either live here now, or are just throwing a party. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of the word for party in Spanish. Like, like I know one word in Gobble English that I've seen because Peggy uses it enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I guess Gobble English is, is it just Spanish in this instance? I was just like, oh, huh, for, for, for yester, for yester, <laughs> Peggy, I'm trying, I just, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, ask him, ask him if, ask him if, the, if we can still do the trial. And if so, wh where is it? Because this was the first bit I thought that I remembered. Are they still uh, doing trials here? <laughs> Did I miss a newsletter? Did I not? I might have got. I'm, I was. I used. I used a website to. to it, what it does is it unsubscribes you from multiple uh, magical letters at the same time, and I may have accidentally unsubscribed myself from the listserv for the uh, pyromancy that I do. So maybe they moved the trials. But can you ask them that? <laughs> Heck, we came all this way. Up. There's no way that they moved the trials. That would be so irresponsible. All right. Well, we are very sorry to have interrupted <laughs> your lovely party. Uh, happy birthday, by the way. Um, Feliz Capalentios. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um... <laughs> um Sorry, what am I asking? Wait, do, you want to ask them, do you want to ask them about the trials? So yeah, we could still do the trial. And what room yeah. it's in? So, yeah, is is are is it, would us doing the trials disrupt this lovely party that you are having? Uh, so the goblin like looks at his buddy who was like tearing up a tapestry. Uh, looks back on the statue. The other guy's just taking a piss off the head of the statue. <laughs> um. One guy. Oh, Dale, that one looks like he wants to father son bond with you. <laughs> Bobby, time to do what I taught you. This is what we call a pissing contest. Okay, this will be the first of Bobby, many trials Bobby, today, Bobby. Bobby, you're not allowed. Oh. To, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to okay. play. Uh, piss. I but think this is part of the trial. And Bobby goes up and trial. takes a piss, fla flaps up and takes a piss next to the goblin and like, that's pretty good. Bobby, that's, yes, one, of, that's yes. one of the four gods that's gonna approve or disapprove of you. Shouldn't be pissing on a representation of him or her. Go. <laughs> pissing off, Dad. Pissing off, not on. I'm looking at it and it's right on there. <laughs> Uh, the, the goblin points towards uh, the door up to the north uh, and just goes, we don't know how to open that door. If they, I don't know anything about a trial, but we don't know anything, we don't know anything about that door. How to open. Bobby, that might be what you're looking for. I don't know. Bobby, Bobby's going to fly over to the door once presumably Peggy roughly translates and probably just like gesturing. Bobby can tell. Uh, so there is on Does the it, door. Wait, wait, wait. One question. I think you know what it is. I know what it is. Does the door look locked? Uh, so the door <laughs> is just a stone slab. There is no handle. 
Uh, but there so is... that's a yes. That's a yes. It does, in fact, look locked. <laughs> okay. uh, but uh, there is an inscription uh, in a faded, ancient pyromantic language. Oh, I've sort of half demonic. Kept up with my lessons. Uh, well, uh, uh, I, I guess... you know, I <laughs> go ahead, Peg. <laughs> I can I can try and dis- and discern this language as well. I I taught I substitute taught many languages in my time. <laughs> All right, I'm not remember some of substitute I didn't know if I was teacher to of 1996 <laughs> from just teaching gobble English. Can we can we combine <laughs> Peggy's general language knowledge with my? I would assume I at some point knew somewhat how to read this because I'm. I don't know. That's your decision to make as, as GM. That makes, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, tell you what, uh, you guys together can uh, have an advantage roll and decide who makes the roll. All right. Uh, it's going to be, hey, going to be you, intelligence. You do the vials, I'll do the consonants. We'll put them together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what did, where, what did you say it was? A roll? Intelligence. All right, I should do the uh, intelligence Your intelligence roll. is probably higher than me, yeah. It's quite high. I'm, I'm very intelligent. Um, so it's, was this with advantage? Remind me. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Cause I'm doing the vowels. That's absolutely, hey. but hey, why not? So yeah, it's uh, a tw- 22. <laughs> I think would be all right. So, so the inscription, it takes you a second. You gotta, you like, you find some like dust in the, in one of the crooks of the engraving and that changes it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, very nuanced demonic language. Um, but I, I, uh, I would say it's like I look at it. I'm like, I don't recognize any of these characters. And then Peggy, <laughs> like, Peggy's like wipes it, and it's just there was dust in a lot of. It. I'm like, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought they changed uh, everything. The inscription says, "Passage for those who light the way." Uh, it says, "Passage for those who light the way." There's gonna be a lot of this sort of mystic mumbo jumbo sort of stuff. It's just more of getting fire powers on. You know, you gotta, Bobby, gotta, you gotta bat barrel through. Bobby's gonna fly down and uh, conjure a little fireball. And he's also uh, first gonna check to make sure that Dale was watching, like <laughs> Hank, be helpful to him. Does Bobby already know pyromancy? That's even funnier if we're doing this for. Well, no he's reason. a demon. I have my little like fire. I have oh, my yeah. little like um my fire demon oh, powers. Yeah. He's an actor. He's got he's got some little baby. And I'm just gritting my teeth. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So uh, you make you make your little fireball, uh, and there's a little video gamey as the door, a uh, sort of like seal cuts down the middle and it splits apart. Leaving an entrance down a long dark hallway. I just uh, wanted to react to that sound effect, but like, a dream within a dream. <laughs> it was very exceptional. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I immediately went to the sound that uh, Boba Fett's ship makes, Jango Fett's ship makes when they're in the chase in episode two in the asteroid uh, field. A, That's a, a good A prequels sound. reference. That's a Hell good yeah. sound. I lack imagination entirely, and I just saw Brian go, blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Bobby, great job! You're off to a great start here. Thanks, Dad. Uh, you said the hallway is dark. Uh, yes. I would like to. I would like to put on my uh, my head mounted reading light. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Uh, you can use up an adventuring gear for that. Yeah. Uh, and for sure, I will give you for that because you have light. Uh, not moving through the darkness, I will give you advantage on a random encounter roll. Wonderful. So I'd have to roll two ones to get a random encounter. There's one. So that's one one. There's one. Ooh, that was <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, how do you almost think you're being attacked? <laughs> uh, well, obviously, the, uh, the light casts a uh casts a shadow on the wall <laughs> and uh that makes sense that's, that's pretty scary <laughs> that'll do it 
Peggy, this is like when you made me cut down that tree because it had branches that looked like arms at night. <laughs> Hank, I cannot sleep while there are branches that look like arms outside my window. <laughs> you were the two who cut down my arm tree? <laughs> Dale, why are you planting trees in other people's property? I can't have people knowing that I'm getting more arms. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so... As soon as we can afford it, we are moving. <laughs> you guys enter this large chamber. Um, and, uh, Hank, this is maybe starting to ring some bells. It's in a little bit of disrepair from the last time you saw it. Uh, however, uh, this large room, there's a door on the other side. It does, in fact, look locked. Uh, kind nice. of same as before. Uh, and there are four of the, uh, if we're on roll 20 on cam, uh, there are four large braziers, if that's the proper mm-hmm. word, uh, basins almost closer in size. Um, four large braziers played by Kelsey Brammer. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Very good. Uh, that are currently <laughs> not lit. Hank, you remember having to light these uh, while monsters try to fuck you up. Uh, these uh, these circles over here are large, uh, like demonic skulls with wide open mouths uh, that you know lead down tunnels. So as you get a look at the room, uh, chat's going to decide what's going to come out of those giant skulls' mouths. Uh, is it Lots of little angry demons, or is it two big fucking demons? I would, uh, Ooh. I would like to skeleton tongues. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to now that I realize and recognize that we're this is the trial that I did. I want a full on, you know, baseball coach on one knee, hand on Bobby's shoulder, and be like, All right, Bobby, well, this is, I believe, you're starting your trial now. And I wouldn't be giving you the power and the respect you deserve by helping you. So I just want to tell you that I believe in you. I think you're a strong and independent boy. And I'll be watching over you, but I will not be interfering. (laughs) And I do hope you do not die. Now get out there and swing for the fences. And I give him like a kind of mix of a pat on the back and like a shove towards the middle of the room. (laughs) As As he pushes me forward, I look back and go, I love you, Dad. Yep. Dale cowers at seeing the two big demons and just says, Bobby, help me! And he's like, gives Bobby like an actual shove. There's no ambiguity about it. It's two hands uh, full force. I don't think Give we... him hell, Bobby! Do we know which one won yet? So it looks like lots of little demons. Am I wrong? It looks like that to me, for sure. Okay. Uh, so... Two big Frasers. <laughs> little... Yeah, <laughs> two big Frasers. Maybe that could be. We'll throw that into the ring for the next episode, for the next arc, next season arc. Fraser. Okay, so only one little demon. Uh, so you hear like <laughs> clawing down the walls as uh, only one little demon comes out of here and like that's not so bad. Demon. Get him, Bobby. <laughs> It's like a terrible sound and clattering, and then one little demon like falls yeah. out and like clatters over his this is just, tail. This is just now. It's just fully like that. Uh, that monkey knife fight from The Simpsons. It's just Bobby. Get him, son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so the first ones come out. Hank, you remember? So every two rounds, more are coming. Uh, but uh. Let's see. Uh, so you guys have initiative. Uh, Bobby, you have to light all four of these before all of these monsters come and kill you. Uh, moving and lighting one is an action, and there is going to be a roll involved. Uh, so whoever would like to go first. I mean, I'll go Bobby first. Will go. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say I'm going to go first because I'm not going to take any action unless Bobby's in at true mortal danger. But I would never butt in on this this is his thing to earn i'm a little nervous i'm probably making little noises i'm like oh 
Oh. So wait, can, can, canonically, did did Hank not have an adventuring party with him when he did the Hank trials? Did. He did it on. But it, it's up to Hank what they did for okay. this trial. I was just going by, <laughs> dude. Every try, the the definition of trial is like you got to do it yourself. I just went by the the, the, the common fantasy trope of trials. You're not you allowed think? to have like buds with you, at least well, in my head. Eli, but you're forgetting the greatest trope of you're forgetting the greatest trope of all, which is that friendship is what we learned along the way or some shit. You think of the big green. That's from the movie The Big like, Green. Teamwork. That's those movies about little kids that are bad at soccer, but then they beat the soccer team that's good at soccer. Oh. I'm thinking I think trials usually, you know? I feel I don't know. This is my this is my understanding of trials. And I'm gonna role play it to the best of my ability, which is that I will only help my son if he's about to die. Okay. <laughs> I'm going hey I'm going full hey hachi on this. All right. All right. Uh, Great. Okay. Would anyone else like to go? Yeah, I'd like to. My spitballs are little fire spitballs. Yes. Yeah. So I'd like to fire spitball <clears throat> to this. You can't see where I'm pointing because I uh, you can click face. down on it and it'll give you a little circle. Oh, I would like to. Can you see that? I, oh. cannot. I cannot. Yes. No. There we go. Whoa! <gasps> oh fuck! Yeah, that one. Great. That one. There you go. Uh, okay, great. Uh, so go ahead and uh, do a little attack on it, and we'll see if it lights. All right. There yeah. we go. That's a four. Oh, Bobby. That's a four. Plus a two, so it's a six. Your little spitball like pings off of the brazier and then hits a tapestry on the wall and sends that up into flame. Good, uh, good swing, Bobby. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Uh, Peggy or Dale, any moves? Hey, this um, is all you. Dale, Dale's currently cowering until he has to do something. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bobby's trial is to light these braziers before the demons kill him. <laughs> and I am going to make these demons have to get past me. Peggy, <laughs> Peggy, let the Bobby, boy. you focus. I will not help him light the braziers, but I will be another body that these demons might have to deal with. Thanks, so I Mom. step out. Well, marriage is about I step compromise. Out. <laughs> That's right. So these these are demons, not uh, undead. Uh yeah, correct. They are demonic. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jenna Steamer just came in. I just got here. Why are there tapestries in King of the Hill? <laughs> you don't remember the tapestries? Hi, Jenna. <laughs> they say Arlen. Um, all right, I guess I'll just how I I'll just I'll just run up to one of these demons and and smack it with my mace. Great, Peggy. Great. Peggy, that's not Which... defending. Your initial. Oh, what? Oh. I'm like so torn now because I won't help Bobby with the trial, but. I will protect Peggy because she's not. I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dad, mom is fulfilling the spirit of the trial and all of the beliefs that you've instilled in me about family working together. They're just Bobby. They're... Hank, I did not come all this way to not crack some skulls. Look, just the pyromancy <laughs> gods, they're very specific. And Bobby already urinated all over uh, 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 an image of one of them, so they're mad. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make this work for all of us, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, the pyromancy gods are just going to have to deal with me. You don't Peggy. want... Trust me, Peggy, you don't want that. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make an attack roll. I have dealt with... I have dealt with worse than pyromancy gods. That's that is... a uh, 19. Uh, yeah, that is definitely going to hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, so that's just a D8. I don't add anything to that, right? You do not. Okay. Three. Uh, great. So you uh you get a good hit. Uh, Can I? This guy over the head. I was gonna say. Wait. What are you? What What is Peggy attacking with? A uh, mace. Can I? Can I use incinerator on her mace? In my. Uh, yes, you can. Okay, so I'm like Peggy. Well, if you're gonna do it. And then I, I use my, my propane powers, like, oh, 
<laughs> and then it, it does ignite uh, that her so Peggy's mace catches is consumed with flame and deals an additional 1d4 fire damage oh hell yeah uh, Speggy go ahead and do your additional d4 damage that's one more damage uh, yeah you do not quite kill it but uh, it is definitely worse for wear uh, thank you Hank <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you uh, as much as I'm allowed. Great. So that is your turn. Well, uh, Dale's just going to take a pot shot at something. Great. <laughs> Who's the closest <laughs> thing in 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 visibility? Uh, uh, let's see. There's this guy, and then there's the one with Peggy. Uh, and that guy's not fully dead, right? Uh, I feel no, like. Dale has no respect for Peggy's well-being, so he's taking a pot shot in that direction. If you hit Peggy, Hank is going to lose it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, let's uh, let's take a little let's take a little shot with my short bow here. That's a five. So that's bad. Uh yeah. Roll a d6 for me. Okay. Uh, here's a d6 for you. That's hey! a six. You do not hit Peggy. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Uh, however, the arrow just sails off into the darkness. Does it go close to and... Peggy? Yes. I'm like, Dale, Gribble. <laughs> I'm like, come behind the statue of me. And I like to... <laughs> yes, Hank. I come back there, and I'm like, now, Dale, listen to me. I know that you have a lot of problems at home, and I understand that you are going through a lot with your son and what you, with the relationship you are trying to build with him. But this is my family, and it is one thing for me to have you come along. But if you are shooting crossbows and almost hitting the love of my life, Peggy Hill, taking away not only my wife, not only Bobby's mother, but the best dang substitute teacher that they have ever seen and hurting the, the, the education of children all across the county, I will have you know I'll throw you to the gods myself. I know some spells that I don't use, but I'll use them if you ever, <laughs> ever hurt my wife. Now, Hank, I understand you're very attached to that woman, but have you considered <laughs> I'm scared? <laughs> well, it's natural to be scared. Just curl up in a ball like everybody else does. Dale's already curling up in a ball. Like He turns back around and sees that is full feed on. Uh, let's see. Bobby, you are... Two demons are flanking you and about to attack. Uh, one swings at you with its claws and uh, rolls a 16 versus your AC. Me? Yes. <laughs> uh, my AC is 14. Okay, you take oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. four damage. The other one, as you reel from that hit, uh, comes up and like gloms onto your back, sinking its claws into you and rolls an 11. Uh, so it just like scratches down your back and then scrambles onto the floor uh, and attempts to get back up. Uh, let's see, two are also currently flanking Peggy. Uh, one oh, just no. critted. Oh no. Uh, so you take five damage from that one, and then, uh, <laughs> we're going uh, to California Pizza Kitchen, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the other one, however, as like has the trajectory to like jump on you, but the crit of the other one knocks you back, so it uh, fully misses and hits the ground. Uh, you guys are back up, and I I, I also when I hear uh, Bobby's. I assume Bobby makes some sort of pain thing. I'll be like, Bobby, no. <laughs> Bobby, focus on the braziers. Focus on the braziers. My life force. <laughs> <laughs> Peggy, are you all right? I'm okay, Hank. You don't I'm all here. right, too. Dale. In case anyone was curious. <laughs> okay, Bob. Bobby, honey. Uh, you... <laughs> yes, Mom? These things are uh, more dangerous than I thought. 
Be we're careful. Gonna, we're gonna make it, Mom. I can feel my power growing. Uh, that's lovely, sweetie. So, is it our turn for combat? Sorry if I missed yes. it. Okay. Yes. So I would like to conjure my flaming weapon. Great. Um, which is basically just a baseball bat of fire. Uh, this I have to do a quick check to see if I can do it again. It's a yeah. DC 12 int check. Yes. So 15 plus four, I'm good. So I, I like stand there and, and conjure up this flaming baseball bat. And then I just look at the two demons that are on Peggy, which there are two demons on Peggy, right? Yes. And I go, step away from my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and I just charge in, and I'd like to just try to beat one of them off of her as as hard as possible. And while right. I'm doing that, I'm running back, and I'm like, Bobby, this is your battle to fight. I believe in you. Also, <laughs> remember, you can fly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Go ahead and make an attack roll. Uh, okay. So that is Conjure. This, I can use Int for attack rolls also. Yes. All right. Did it go? All right, 13 plus 4, 17. That's going to hit for sure. Okay. Go ahead and deal damage. And let me check what that is. All right, D8. Two. Not great. I'm so I'm so uh, mad about I'm so I'm so passionate that I I'm not getting very accurate. You do still kill that one. Oh nice. I just smack it straight into the it just it splats on the the statue. It splats so <laughs> flat it looks like when like a PlayStation didn't have a lot of memory for textures, so it was just like <laughs> kind of like a half opacity kind of splotch. Love it. Yeah. A splotch. And I go, I took a vow. <laughs> so I was speaking about my marriage vows to Peggy. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Uh, let's see. Uh, who else wants to go? Um, uh, I would like to heal myself. Okay. Before before anything else crazy happens. Okay. So, um, I, I use one of, I can do this three times because my wisdom modifier is three and I can, uh, I roll a D eight and I get that much health back Two. really good. Uh, you need to, uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh, and I need to, and I need to do a charisma roll, yeah. right? To see if, uh, that's. Yeah, every time you use a special ability, make a charisma check. Okay, so let's do. I do that first before I roll. Uh, I already, I already yeah, rolled. No, no, it's but... after. It's always after. Okay, so charisma. Oh yeah. Oh, very charismatic. Uh. So hmm. I, I give myself a bit of a, a pep talk, and I say, "You got this, Peggy. <laughs> You're here." To help your son become a man. Okay. Get some of my health back. Two points. Uh, so Hank is gone. Peggy has gone. Bobby has not gone. Dale has not gone. Bobby would like to use phase. Um, two times per session, you may phase out of reality and into a space you can see. So Bobby would like to phase into this. I'm trying to click. Into that, into oh, bing oh I see into this corner. Right, done. And then light the brazier, brazier, brazier crane on fire right in front of him. <laughs> great. Yeah. With uh, a spitball. <laughs> okay, great. Go ahead and make a roll. Okay, you got it. Bing bang, that's a uh, eighteen. Bing bang, you light that brazier. <laughs> oh, oh cool effect. animation effect! Yeah. And I love I, that, I, Brian. I see the I see the, the wow. light of the brazier. And I'm like, you did it, Bobby. You're doing it. <laughs> Just three more to go. Oh. Okay. Just three more to go. Uh. Oh yeah. Okay, Dale. Dale, uh, back to a pillar, uh, kissing an arrow and saying, hit something good for me, and then firing <laughs> again now in the direction of this uh, one that's like directly between Hank and Peggy. 
Great. Um, let's go for it. Well, that um, one's dead, isn't it? Rolling. There's two of them over there. Oh, okay. Uh, that 14. will hit. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and deal damage. Please. Your arrow sinks in. A... <laughs> Say again. <laughs> <laughs> One more time, just because I enjoy it so much. Yes. Oh, so good. good stuff. <laughs> um. All right. I'm available to fully any project. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just clip that, and then you could use it for just about anything you need it for. Yeah. <laughs> A ring back. Text phone? messages, <laughs> weddings, bar mitzvahs. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and roll damage, Tony. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, sorry, I uh, am losing track of my D8. Here we go. That's a four. Uh, okay. Oh, man, that almost kills it. Uh, but not quite. Uh, and that's everybody, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. That means it's so that was this is round three. Uh, which means more demons are coming. Mm -mm. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. I think it's about it's about how many whammies at this point. Four it's whammies. So many whammies. Oh. Ooh. Hank, I'm beginning to think that there are more demons than we can handle. Peggy, it's not about the the focus is on the braziers. That's part of the trial is realizing that. But I can't tell Bobby that. They realized that he did tell Bobby that. Oh, <laughs> Bobby, you have to focus on the braziers. I will, Mom, but I have something. Let me uh, let me take an action or whatever real world equivalent first. This next time, I have something. Oh no! Uh, I okay, say to Peggy so quietly, like it's another one of Bobby's plants. <laughs> uh, okay, so one of them has to be good, Hank. Two, uh, two demons begin running towards Dale. <laughs> uh, 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 one hits you for 18 versus your defense, and the other goes for nine. I assume that first one hits. Who's who's getting attacked? Dale. Dale. Oh, okay. Dale. Uh, Dale, you take two oh, okay. damage. Uh, let's see. Peggy, you're going to take two more. And uh, Hank's going to take two more. Two attacks? Two damage? Two attacks. Okay. Uh, this is for I... Peggy. Uh, let's see. That looks like one's probably going to hit. Peggy, you take three damage. Uh, Hank, Ugh. you got two coming right now. Nope, I'm strong. Neither of those look like they hit. How do you Get avoid off. both of those? I'm just, I'm going with my, this is one of my favorite things to say in the Hank. Get off me. I'm just shoving them back. Go! <laughs> Don't touch me. Uh, let's I'm here see. to supervise. I'm not part of the trial. <laughs> uh, Bobby, these demons are all beginning to move towards you slowly, uh, like uh, like purple venom dripping from their fangs. It's your guys' turn. Okay, I mean... Bobby would like to go first. Uh, Bobby's going to... Fire mini fireball. Once per session, throw a ball of fire. Everyone in the area takes three d6 damage or half on a dc12 deck save. Right. So I'd like to position it, hopefully, to get these four that are closest to me, and then maybe these two close to my parents, but not singe, especially Peggy, who's probably not looking too great right now, health wise. <laughs> I do not want to kill my mother. Uh, let's see. My overconfidence role playing as Peggy, who is very overconfident. <laughs> yeah, she does not have a lot of health. <laughs> uh, Peggy, Peggy's a little too in the fray there. She will have to make the dex save if you go for that. How's your dex, Peggy? Uh, plus zero. My worst plus stat. The, the save. Chill, the chill, save chill, is chill, half chill, damage. Chill. The save right. is, save is half damage. You will. Definitely do damage. So can I? There's ugh, fuck. There's no way to well, just like, don't do just don't, don't target do your mother. Damage. <laughs> there's no way to like do it close. 
close in just to get can I do it closer in just to get these four? Uh yes, if you're willing to make the dex check yourself and be in the uh oh, blast radius. Fuck. I turned to Peg and like, he's not even looking at the braziers. <laughs> he's getting ready to do something weird. <laughs> Um, are you looking at the braziers <laughs> I, keep, I keep slipping i keep slipping into dale D- dale is like are you looking at <laughs> dale is like the, it's hard to not slip into dale from every voice i feel like dale is f- fun dale's a fun one you just get a shout folks what beats it <laughs> i would like to shout Get away from the demons. Sh- put the demons towards me. Shove them towards oh, okay. me. What is he talking about? So maybe they can go first and do that and then I'll go. If they can Oh yeah, can I di- can I can I disengage and just run as far away uh, as possible? Yeah, cuz you're like kind of surrounded, but uh yes, you can use an action <laughs> to disengage and would you like where would you like to go? Just as far away from the demons around here Into as, the I, back as I can, corner. yeah. Hank, do you want to do the yeah. same? Uh, y- yeah. I just like as I'm like, do it, Dad. Like, For once in your life, listen to your son. I'm like, Peggy, listen to your son, Hank. He's doing something weird. I want no part of it. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> you find your own hiding spot. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta okay. love it. You gotta love it. Just visibly or audibly hearing a GM give give someone the benefit of the doubt. It's like, can I run away? Well, you're kind of surrounded, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little favor from up 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 on high. All right. Like, I mean, this on, is baby. the temple of your god, so I feel like they they would give you a little bit of wiggle room. Oh yeah. I'd well, like to. An angry god. <laughs> I'd like to throw fireball now, right in the fucking middle of these. If these were on dead, I'd be able to do some stuff, but do not have a lot of AoEs that can do anything against not undead, it turns out. Hmm. Uh, okay, I am going to split this up into two dex uh, saves so that we're not here all night. Uh, one will be for these four, the other will be for, uh, let's see, like this chunk. The, uh, the one on the right is dead, right? That's why that X is on it? Yes, okay. yes. Okay, so this is for the first ones. They need to hit a DC 12, Carolyn? Yes. They do not. Ooh. They're going to take 3d6 damage. Uh, let me do the other ones real fast. Um, okay. They uh, will hit that, so they're going to take half damage. Okay, cool. So I'll just roll 1d6 now. 3d6. Uh, roll 3d6. Uh, the first four will take all of the ba- all of that. The others will take half. Never asked you for anything. <coughs> oh, that's a D8. Ignore. <laughs> Here's the real one. E! Uh, it's actually more <laughs> than you rolled on the D8. Half damage <laughs> will kill all of them. Uh, they all... <laughs> and burn up and die. Bobby, you're doing great, sweetie. Thanks. Dad, I know we talked about murder last time, but I feel like this is part of the trial, so it's okay. Bobby, they're demons, so it's different. There's a lot of (laughs) different things. There's things I'll tell you when you get a little older, and it's related to the human soul. But for now, I want you... First of all, great job. You're doing great. Second of all, I do want to remind you about the braziers. I want to make sure. The yeah, I'm going to give that a 50. I'm going to give that a 50 50 shot that it lights this brazier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. It's a big fireball. Bobby has a slight moment. <laughs> okay. Bobby has a little moment of thinking about that he was actually kind of a demon familiar in the soul. And then he's like, I'm just going to put that away until college. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, just, I don't want to talk to him about whether a demon deserves to live. He's a demon, Peggy. <laughs> it's a conversation for another time, Hank. I agree. <laughs> like, 
when he's 45, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> In 9,000 years. Uh, okay, sorry. It's actually all of their turns. Uh, they are sort of scrambling, uh, getting back up. From, like, the blast knocked basically every demon the fuck over. Uh, so they are getting their shit back together, and uh, it is now your initiative again. Uh, next round after this, more demons will be coming. I think I just uh, need to heal myself. Dale's got now. a real dumb idea while all this is happening. Uh, so how much how much uh, kind of cover do these razors give us? Uh, if we're... you were to like like get on your knees, uh, I would. Pretty solid like, cover. Let's not say that I'm cover, hyperventilating but... with my back towards it. Uh, I would, I would give disadvantage to attack rolls or something. Um, okay, so uh, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> Dale uh, has his, uh, as previously established, highly flammable poison gas. Uh, <laughs> oh. So I... <laughs> We have like these three guys who are right, uh, right around the corner from me, right? Uh, I would love to just give a toss of uh, one of Dale's uh, poison gas uh, vials uh, right between the three of them, Great. just to see if we can, uh, just to see if we can make the situation a little spicier. Sure, let's do it. All right. Um, so, uh, I can't remember how we handled this before. What did you? How do you want me to roll this? Um, one? I actually think you can just use your action to throw that, All and right. that will take effect. Boof. Uh, and this oh, man, these roll twenty effects are just—they're really doing it <laughs> for me. <laughs> they're really good, they're right? Pretty sweet. I was just thinking, mm. this is so good. Uh, that's that roll twenty premium shit. Um, <laughs> Can we get a plug. sponsorship? Roll twenty yeah. premium. Get at us. Sponsor us. Uh, I think we're gonna need more viewers before they do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so tell your friends so someone will sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but back to the land of fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hank and Peggy, you guys got moves. Oh wow. And Bobby. I mean, that gas explodes. I would, I would think it might be able to light both of those. I'm not going to help with the... <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to tend to Peggy, I think. Bobby Peg, wants to focus on... I do not need you to the... tend to me, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> Bobby wants to focus on the braziers, but that... the Seeing that his like family is in danger... Bobby, he wants fine. to take out those <laughs> goblins. Bobby, focus on the gosh dang braziers. <laughs> I am okay. fine. Okay, I have Bobby's going nine to nine HP. Your <laughs> mother has less, but I'm gonna give her a ration. We're gonna be fine. Bobby is going to try <laughs> oh, and we can, shoot. We can his... eat rations to. Oh, look at that! They do. Yeah. Bobby's yeah. going to shoot his fireball, spitball fireball off of off of the wall and try to ricochet it so that it bounces and lights the poison gas and the brazier on fire okay go ahead and make a uh spitball attack i'm gonna say if that hits a 15 or higher that will be successful okay what wall this is not a really important question that's a five <laughs> uh unfortunately it does not it the, the spitball just doesn't even reach the poison can i give cloud. it an advantage because i believe in myself no <laughs> oh. <laughs> Carolyn's bargaining. She's got the got the D and D bargaining going. A little barger action. <laughs> I'll give you advantage if you light the damn braziers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll focus on the braziers. I like I'll the, focus the, on the braziers. I, I personally enjoyed that half this room is filled with poison gas. She's like, I'm gonna ricochet something. <laughs> Bobby, it's right in front. Of you. You're do, you're trying to do too much. This is what you get for not making me a fucking tank paladin. <laughs> this is like when he decided he could get more power if he did a 360 before he hit the baseball. <laughs> Just focus on what you can control. Uh, Dale, one's coming for you. 
Uh, let's see. He's going to get this disadvantage, but that should miss. Yep. So you are cowering beneath the brazier. Uh, and it it's like trying to like climb over it to get to you, but it like falls into it. <laughs> ah, son! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, more demons, but fewer now. Did we go, did we, did Peggy and I take a turn, though? Oh, uh, I guess you didn't. I'm sorry. That's go ahead. Right. No, I would, I would like to try and heal myself some more. Great. Uh, so let's see. Ooh, big Oh, heal. much better. There Mondo Big heal. heal. Seeing, I, I'm so inspired by that that big fireball uh, my son did, and to a lesser extent, uh, the 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 attempt he made at doing a cool ricochet thing. <laughs> it was very creative. It was very creative. Thanks, mom. Yeah, it's just in Bobby's uh, head. It's it's from that episode where he's throwing the baseball off the wall over and over. <laughs> Very creative, honey. Look, Bobby, I told you, creativity is for people who can't earn a living. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us have to operate on results. Um. Well, Peggy's okay. like mega healthy now, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm doing okay now. Uh. Okay. Great. Um, uh. Hank, you doing a thing? I'll just try to. I'm not gonna because I don't want to interfere yet again. Um, uh, maybe I just like beckon to Dale and see if he wants to like Dale, get over here. How long does this gas remain in this area? Does it start it's to dissipate? It's gonna start to dissipate over we... the next couple of rounds. Okay, we get we get some other shots to light them, light it up. I mean, Peggy can't. She has no fire powers. Uh, um, I think I'm you have adventuring to... gear, which could be torches. Oh, that's yeah. true. Uh, oh, and I also need to do my charisma check yes. again to see yes. if uh, my deity. Nice. Uh, you yeah, are good. Uh, okay, just a real fast check to see if any more demons come out. One more does, but he comes into the poison and starts immediately coughing. Uh, okay, so that is their turns. It is your turn again. Bobby, like the fucking braziers. <laughs> yeah, Bobby's going to try and light this brazier here. You're aiming for this the brazier? Guy. Yeah. This one. Great. Great. Uh, so. 17. Uh, you're right there. Go ahead and take advantage. Oh, wait. Nope. Because that's the three in the chat. 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 Oh, it is? True. Yeah. 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 It, lo it sure looks okay, like a 17. Okay, that's a 19. So with advantage, yeah. that's, that that's one, a That one hits. Boom. <laughs> I just have to keep doing it now. Mm -hmm. It's good. Get your money. It's really there. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and each little flame has its own little personality. <laughs> uh, okay, that was Bobby's turn. There's a, I've, so, again, okay. I would never assist Bobby with his... Uh, but I mumbled myself like, there's it's flammable gas. It's if, if Hank, you were telling it. him... You, you were telling him... Uh, to focus on the braziers. You know what, Peggy? So he right. listened. Maybe I. You know what? Maybe I've got too many fingers in the cookie jar, and I need to back away. <laughs> oh, a totally real dino says. Uh, I mean, it's poison. It seems like the demons should be taking damage since they're so small. That sounds fair. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll make them take damage at the top of the next round. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's how poison works in general, right? Everything should be taking yeah. damage. That makes They'll sense. They'll be that... taking damage in a second. Dale says, lighting up one of his disposable uh, pipes. pipes yeah. Yeah. Dale's famous poison that doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs> so I think Dale has heard Hank beckon to him uh, as as uh, Peggy and Hank have uh, collected in the one corner. So I think he's going to like, in a cinematic fashion, in a very like tactical dale like roll is going to attempt to like run backwards and do a backwards tactical roll while throwing a pipe <laughs> it looks stupid um <laughs> his hat comes off revealing his impossibly bald embarrassing head and uh, <laughs> he looks just uh bad okay yeah 
Uh, yeah. Uh, so you don't feel good. You feel embarrassed. <laughs> yes. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, oh no 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 no. Dale Dale feels great about this. Tony <laughs> Tony feels really embarrassing and very upsetting. Yeah. Anyone watching Dale do this would be embarrassed for. It. I'm God. embarrassed for. Him. Uh. Okay. So what was the oh. ultimate goal there? Oh, to light the gla- the gas cloud right. using uh, one of these uh, disposable pipes. Great. As a Go ignition. ahead and make a dex check for me. Hit a 10 or higher. Well, I can do that. Let's do it now. That's seven with my plus three. Oh, yeah, that's a 10. Exactly. Great. Uh, so the explosion of the gas cloud kills all of these demons with a... Roar! Uh, and this one explodes. It dies in there. It also shrieks. Uh, and this one is lit. Hey. Now, see, the whole now, thing Hank, is pretty lit, can I, bro. Can I ask a question? Yes. I'm a pyromancer. Hank, does, does that does that count? Does that count? That's going to be relevant, yeah. I'm a pyromancer. I do have control over flame. Would that, and as part of like my cantrip and sort of that, can I also put out fire? You can. <laughs> I'd like to put that brazier out. <laughs> you little fuck. <laughs> you little fuck. Hank, what does that look like in a movie? I'm just like, oh, damn. And I just like pull it back and the fire shoots out of the brazier and into my hand and I'm kind of like, ow. But I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Bobby, you got to do it. No breaks, no shortcuts. Dale. Good job. <laughs> uh, okay. So like, only Dale has gone, right? Yeah, and I'm like, you're halfway there, Bobby. Go, Bobby, go. <laughs> you can do it, Bobby. Bobby's going to be a little conflicted. This is another sort of moment that he's going to put in the vault to maybe deal with when he's older <laughs> and no, no longer lives with his parents and has access to therapy. And he's gonna spitball, aim a spitball at this one that was just on fire and light that up. Great, go for it. Do, 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 that a another 19. That will do it. Hank, yeah. Hank, is, Hank is doing the exact same. I'm trying to get my wires in order. Like exactly what uh, he would do, like a baseball coach would do, meaning go home, go home. Like he's doing, he's just like, Come on, Bobby, go, go, go. Uh, beautiful. Uh, okay, so Bobby went, Dale went, Hank, Hank went. <laughs> yeah, I just put uh, out Peggy. The fire. Um. All right. Let's see what um. Um. Hmm. So I have this ability called uh, Guiding Light that uh, I can I can make an enemy start glowing and attacks uh, are made against the enemy with advantage. Okay. Uh, can I do that to the final brazier? I can I make the brazier glow don't... so that Bobby has an easier time? doing it i don't see why not what does it look like when you uh envelop the brazier in a holy glow come on bobby bring us home (laughs) oh yeah uh okay i go i see peggy and all excited around that i love that woman (laughs) so as the final brazier lights uh all three demons see uh, this happening and immediately starts sprinting for Bobby. Look out, Bobby! Bobby, you're gonna take three attack rolls. I'm gonna roll. Uh, no, I, I'm taking it. That's gonna okay, be seventeen. Okay. okay, only one of them should hit. Uh, so two of them leap on the the third one, like uh, is the one that actually sinks its claws into you, dealing. Two damage. All right, uh, and that's their turns. Can I? I would like to throw out a. Uh, this is this is up to Carol and both you and Bobby's. And I was like, Bobby, great job. I'm very proud of you. Now, if you can hear me, just get out of there. 
And then if you can move, then I'll do something. But that's up to you if you want to move. Okay. Um, yeah, I would like to move. I'm going to phase again oh, out great. of the demons. Phase, Bobby, and phase! And close, <laughs> close to this final brazier. The final brazier is not lit yet, right? It's just... It is no, not, you're right, it is it's glowing. glowing. Yeah, it's just it's glowing. glowing. so you have advantage to light yeah. it. Yeah, so I'm just going to phase right next to the final brazier yeah. and, and I'm like, try and light it on fire. Like, Once the brazier is lit, the trial is over. Look at that little effect. That's so funny. Thank you, Dad. Ooh. I believe in you. I believe in me. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. And I also believe God. in me. Who believes in you. But you have advantage. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 oh my God. Because <laughs> it's glowing. The Binal Fraser. Really? Oh my God. <laughs> 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 oh no <laughs> wait can i give no i guess i've taken my oh my god oh my god can i give myself no. advantage again with demon's favor i'm a d de... i'm a fire demon we're in the temple of fire let me do take it. one more let me take do one it. more okay i passed demon advantage. demon's favor i already Thank gave one to my mom i have two left obviously a goddamn flurry of blows going here Dale <laughs> shouts I believe in you, Bobby. And full well believes, though he's unheard by Bobby, that this is what gives Bobby the, the strength to try it again. <laughs> Here we go. Hey! hey! Oh my God. Oh my God. Lovely. Uh, and the final brazier sets a light. The demons dissipate. Oh, damn. Into I was going to fire the flame. Suckers. <laughs> You had fireball that whole time, Bobby. It's not my trial; it's your trial. And the now, door had to You need to talk about what the definition of a trial later, Dad. <laughs> the door to the north slowly slides open. Um. Yeah, and I'll 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 grab you know Bobby, and I guess she has to float down, and I'm like, Bobby, you did it. But what's important is even though you just got angry at me for it, you did it by yourself. And this is a something that you've earned. And which is something you've earned is always more valuable than something I could ever give you. So I want you to go through that door and walk up the steps that your dad walked up one time before. And let me know what, I mean, I know what happens. But, you know, look, I don't want to, <clears throat> I'm like starting to maybe... Like, feel like I might cry, so I'm like, anyways, I gotta, uh, go check my wallet, make sure I didn't drop my credit cards. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby starts to walk into the, I assume, sort of glowing, fiery light that's coming from these doors, and Clark. mutters under his breath, I, I know that I've earned you taking me to the ice cream store later. <laughs> <laughs> and then walks through the, uh, through the doors. Uh, so the doors lead down a long hallway, and then this uh, large chamber, circular, uh, with a sort of like stone walkway, uh, bubbling pools of lava on either side. Um, ahead to the north is a massive stone altar uh, flanked by two statues of pyromantic gods of old. Uh, looking down at this giant red ruby that sits on the uh, altar. Hank, you are flooded back with memories. The final trial is you must, by yourself, experience the flame. All right. Um, I'll just talk to... I guess I'm still talking to Bobby. I would like... What's, what's sort of the... Uh... Can I ask Brian in this world where what's like the traditional garb of a pyromancer or pyromantic god? Um, I think that's kind of up to you guys, but I'm definitely picturing I, something robish. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping there's like a sash or a shawl or something. Hello, definitely Kitty. a sash. Show Kitty to camera. That's Kitty. <laughs> it can be like a, a robe that's like oh, a white so pocket. Bad. It's just long enough to be a robe. It's yeah. just got the little pocket. 
I'd like to reach into my satchel or whatever I guess I, I have and like pull out like an old ratty pyromancer sash and be like, now, Bobby, I took this with us because I knew you'd be able to do this. A grill apron. That's very good. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's the classic pyromancer's apron. Um, you know. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> It says like "Daddyo of the patio on it. I've been looking at aprons. Uh, and, uh, I'm like, Bobby, I knew you'd make it and I brought this. This was the apron I was wearing when I was granted the power of the flame. It'll protect you. And I'd like you to hold on to it and maybe pass it on to your son. If you're not sterile, I don't really know how demons <laughs> reproduce. Uh, if there's a finite number of demons based on lucifer i believe there's 60 uh, legit. bobby here here you go and i like you know like drop the apron around I'm like turn around let me tie it for you and i'm like wiping <laughs> away i make him turn around so i can tie it because i'm gonna cry one tear and i don't want him to see it <laughs> and i uh tie it up behind his back beautiful uh so uh dale and peggy how what are you feeling as uh bobby perhaps is about to make his uh final steps towards becoming a pyromancer. You know, Peggy, I really thought that Hank would die. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> you said that many times, Dale. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> well, the state of Arizona says, stop it, I can't tear up at a Hank Hill dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Hank, I'm very proud of you for expressing your emotions as close to as fully as you could. <laughs> Yeah, and I go, Bobby, I knew you could do it because you're Bobby Hill. You're my son. And I'm Peggy. <laughs> uh, Bobby, what goes through your brain as you approach the altar? This is good. You know that the, like this is a moment and this is this is do or die. Do or die. As I put the uh, pyromancer's apron on I realized that it kind of catches on my scarf <laughs> that I had really liked and I realized I could either take the scarf off or use the scarf to further secure my pyromancer's apron and I do that and, and I feel as the scarf ties around my waist the sequins on it kind of magnify the light of the flame that I see reflected in this ruby uh, and I look back at my mom, Peggy Hill, and my dad, <laughs> Hank Hill, and then my sort of erstwhile uncle, Dale, <laughs> and give them all, give them all a respectful nod and then go and place my hands on either side of this Ruby. All right. So you place you you grab the ruby what you're going to do is make a constitution save oh shit either way you are going to take 4d6 damage if you succeed <gasps> the roll you will take half of that you must only have 10 hit points the left flame. you must experience <gasps> the flame but the protective are we gonna... apron <laughs> yes which the apron which not not for its protective value, for its sentimental value. Oh. I will grant advantage. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, Do, okay, question. Do we want to roll the damage first so we know what we are dealing with? Or is that more suspenseful to save it? I just okay. turned to Hank. I should have I should have healed him. I should have cast a healing spell on him before I sent him off. Oh wait, can I actually drink a can I drink a juice box ration before? You may drink a juice box <laughs> ration. It's hot in here. You're sweating. Okay, one d four. See, uh, see, drinking a juice box. That's only one, but I'll take <laughs> it. That's only one. It's only one, but I'll take it. Whatever helps him deal. All right, Carolyn, take the Constitution roll with advantage. Okay. Uh, some Texan guy says, "If Bobby dies, we fucking riot." What? What is? What? What is that? Sixteen. Sixteen. See if you can get a natural twenty, though. That's true. A one. Wow. Well, no. <laughs> oh. But it wasn't. Oh. That, was that would have been bad, huh? Holy uh, shit. Yeah. Okay, so you have succeeded. So you're gonna take half of 
4d6. Bobby, what are you feeling right now as uh, as you are consumed with flame? You're in the the biggest worst pain you've seen in your or you've ever felt in your life. Hank, you remember doing this yourself and it hurting like a bitch. Here's a here's a suspense question and a pacing question. Should you roll four individual d6s and take damage? That's fun. Like, That's fun. With each one. That's yeah. fun. That's good. That's good. If you get like a My three, hand- I guess we'll just see. I don't know. I'm not a math guy. I'll probably die within the first two. My hands are on either side, and it's a the camera is just going back and forth closer and closer every time between my hands and my face sweating my teeth gritting and just the soundtrack is just my pounding heart getting faster and faster and faster and faster the light reflected in my eyes in the ruby dice number one <laughs> oh i'm doing a bad start so you're, you're three damage you're wait eight. i take okay you're taking I half total, so we're gonna half each okay, okay, so you're so take- eight hp right now Bobby, remember that Hank is making you do this. <laughs> I'm not sure if I canonically have a soul, so this might not really be that high stakes anyways. Here goes number two. Do we round that down to zero? Okay. We'll round that down to zero. Rounding down. Oh. Everyone loves to do it. So we'll get rid of ones and make threes. You'll take the three. Uh, or we'll round it down. We'll figure it out. This is number two. The five. God. So that rounds down to two, or we're calling it three. So really, right now we've got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's six total damage. Okay. Okay. This is the last one, right? Last one. Bobby, how you feeling? What's happening? Hurt, pounding. Oh, my heart how is. How much HP do you have left? Do, 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 do. I have. Uh... You'll break Wait, the suspense if you do the math. So just roll. The time. I have five left. I have five damage. I have five HP left. Yeah, I was like, don't do the math because it's uh, already yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, Bobby, the flame. Uh, so you grip it. Uh, you are your flesh is consumed with flame. It busts into this giant pillar that fills the whole cavern with light, and then darkness, and then a slow, faint glow as we see fire pour from Bobby's hands. He is now a full-fledged pyromancer. That's pretty exciting. It's like like a beautiful glow of all of us that we're basking in. I'd like like to put my arm around Peggy, and I'd like to attempt to to bring her in close to me. Nathan. Oh, Hank. (laughs) And I go... Dale gets in on that moment. (laughs) <laughs> I go. Yeah, Peggy just just stares at Dale. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of those King of the Hill shots where one character's just looking at another reverse shot. They're just looking at each other. Yeah. And nobody says anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'd like to I'd like to go with a little tear in my eye. So like like you know I've said a mil- I've said many times that that boy ain't right, but maybe everybody's just got a different kind of right. Because I see the sequence, you know? Oh, Hank. Amazing. Uh, yeah, well, we see we see Bobby. Everybody. And I stare at Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, so. that is my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We, uh, in the cavern, we gently fade to black. Uh, so this is the end of our King of the Hill campaign. And what I would like to do is have a, and we might see these characters again someday. We're in it. We're living in a consistent TV and D yeah. universe. Uh, they might not be gone forever, but we're saying goodbye to them for now. So what I would like is a final shot of each of your characters to close out this campaign. Uh, it can be any sort of period of time afterwards. Um, while you guys think for a second, uh, TV and D. We're going to take next week off, and uh, we're going to find something new next time. New characters based on classic TV shows uh, in a D&D universe. Does anyone have an idea? I don't want to, I don't want to pigeonhole other people with like a scene. Um, Dale's back at his house. It can, it can be a montage, by the way. It doesn't have to, you don't have to create a scene for everyone. The skeleton of Boney Tony's on uh, Dale's uh, dead bugbear wagon, and... 
uh, Dale was like polishing it gingerly and being like, Boney Tony, you're the only son I need. And then, like <laughs> jo Joseph comes out of the house is like, Dad, like looking for help. I'm like, Dad, Joseph. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I got to take Bobby to get that ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, Bobby and Hank are are getting ice cream, and then uh, Bobby uh, lights uh, the the ice cream witch, the ice witch who like summons ice cream. Um, <laughs> he like lights her the hem of her cloak on fire. And like Hank gives him like a stern look, and then they both laugh, and it fades out. <laughs> uh, Peggy has set up a classroom for the uh, the <laughs> goblins back in the in the temple. <laughs> They're sitting there. They're doing and... their best to not like eat their death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, can uh, I also suggest they bring you like a like a disgusting little goblet fashioned out of like bone and viscera that has like etched in yeah. like broken English like number like big number one favorite teach <laughs> <laughs> one of one of the goblins has like the hair parted down the middle and just goes we made you this <laughs> uh, yeah. and you're the best teacher we've ever had. <laughs> we uh, we pan out from the uh, from the temple of the superior flame, uh, and then sort of our uh, floating griffin dragon helicopter shot moves through the woods, through the forest, into a dark sort of like haunted area with spooky twisted trees and a low hanging fog. We head down into what appears to be a mausoleum. Uh, just like one continuous shot heading deep down into a dungeon, hearing the screams and bones rattling uh, and hisses of monsters. We come to a small chamber uh, and a stone altar with a uh, sort of like golden like cross-like sigil. And stepping up to it is a tiny lock mimic named Brisket. He reaches up. <sighs> Uh, and grabs it. His eyes shine yellow, bright, burning yellow. Cut to black. <gasps> Whoa! Consider me teased. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was our King of the Hill campaign, everybody. Thanks for wow. watching, everyone. Thanks for having me on. Oh, thank uh, you, Nathan, Nathan, thank you so much. This was so much fun. A wonderful Peggy Hill. Nathan, a we'll take we'll take the Yaffe bump anytime we can get it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Hey, we'll take Nathan. we'll take the Yaffe personality anytime we can get it. We'll take the Yaffe himself. Carolyn only wants well, you they, for they, for the bump. But I only want the, the you for two, the bump. The two come as a package deal. So <laughs> you get you get both whether you want them or not. Uh, Nathan, where can we find you on the internet? Oh, I, like I, I got it. Uh, <laughs> I've got a I've got a show called Drawfee uh, on on YouTube and Twitch, and uh, I also stream uh, games myself here on Twitch. Uh, Nathan's other show, and uh, yeah, you can you can watch those, and uh, and also vote. Also vote. That's, yeah, go vote. Oh, also yeah. vote. Early if, you and if you've already voted, as some people said they had. Uh, thank you. Get somebody That's else awesome. to vote. Yeah, text someone. <laughs> text a friend. Uh, yeah. Carolyn, where can we find you on the internet? You can find me at Jacuzzi Tubs with two Bs right here on Twitch, streaming Monday nights, all kinds of games. Um, and you can watch the show that I write for, which is a video game news show called The Download on Venn.tv. Uh, also here on Twitch at WatchVen. Hell yeah. Tony, where are you on the internet? I'm right here, baby, in the comments. Look for me at Tony <laughs> during, during the show, probably typing hashtag piss talk. Um, uh, I'm on Twitter also at Helpful Tony. Uh, you can follow my, um, my miniature builds at, uh, at Friends of the Museum on Instagram. Um, you can show up to my house and stay six feet apart from me and 
maybe further than that because we don't know each other unless we do then that's Hell. cool do you social... tony's address is no <laughs> do you social distance the miniature guys like in the little mini taco bell oh yeah they're so distant that there's not even anyone in there because that's real hard to paint the mini guys so it's just <laughs> just, get, right just no indoor just get, dining <laughs> just get some warhammer guys just put some ultramarines <laughs> in there yeah <laughs> Would love some space orcs. Would love some tacos. <laughs> Not after they really got rid of the spicy potato tacos in August. Oh, that's true. The the space <laughs> orcs are very mad about that. R.I.P. Uh, Mexican no, pizza. Mm. Eli, where are you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at my name, Eli Uden, E-L-I-Y-U-D-I-N. I was told recently by somebody they've been trying to follow me on Twitter from something, but they couldn't spell my name, so that's how you spell it. Um, <laughs> Instagram is Chili's Restaurants. Uh, I twitch myself at twitch.tv slash pig underscore dog. Um, uh, and I do a podcast that comes out every Monday with my friends Patty Mo and Kathy Barbadoro that is called What a Time to Be Alive that you can find on Spotify and Apple, wherever you like to find podcasts. And the last thing is that now I I, I do uh, daily cartoons. Um, if you want to, I post them. Oh, all. they're I, really good. So thank they're you. They're very good. They're very uh, good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that people people enjoy them. I'm liking drawing again. It's fun. Um, but I post some of them on Twitter. But if you sign up at, subs, at eliuden.substack.com, I send out a uh, cartoon every day to your inbox. Every day, Monday through Friday. It's like little funny Hell pages. Yeah. So yeah. check that out. I have a lot of things, I guess, now. <laughs> so... <laughs> You got so many things. Uh, you. I am at Brian as a goblin on Twitter. <laughs> at Brian as a goblin on Twitter. Uh, I am at it's Bremily on Twitch. My wife and I stream pinball on Tuesdays, and I do usually like JRPGs or Euro Truck Simulator on Saturdays. Uh, and then make sure to follow us at TV and D on Twitter. That's the best place to suggest shows you want us to take on on tv and d and yes there is the 12 hour halloween stream on it's bremley that'll be on halloween uh, <laughs> some yeah. of us may be dropping in at different times for that right <laughs> yeah Long i hope enough. some of us don't have 12 hours in us but <laughs> love to get drunk and appear on your stream brian will you play the uh i think someone finally made a fan version of pt that you can play which is the scariest game i've ever seen in my life then yeah then <laughs> oh yeah. god all right um, uh we should get out of here huh yeah, yeah. But yeah, tweet us with definitely suggest to us uh additional new new shows that you want to see us do. Uh I think Brian said we take a week off, so it'll be we'll probably run a rerun on this channel next Thursday, but we'll be back with a new one. And then also we do game nights now on Tuesdays, same night, same time as Thursday where we'll just play. We played some Diablo 2, we did some Jackbox, but we'll be hanging out doing something in front of everyone i want to apologize to eli again because i feel like i was particularly <laughs> mean to you on tuesday i don't know what got into me yeah, I got carried too. Away. but i want to make sure everyone sees this apology oh it's fine it was like 11 p.m here I had like to show up tuesday to see some weird shit 11 p.m i had like two or three beers while i played diablo i was just trying to click as many things as i could <laughs> not fast enough <laughs> oh You're getting all the loot Getting oh, all the Nathan, all this. you should join us in Diablo too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't have that it's one. Ten bucks. I'll, I'll get Yeah, this is the only Again, show where once you get I get my gaming rig game. set up. Once uh, I once I can play games on the computer, I'll get all the games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, I saw a lot of great suggestions already for, for shows for our next little mini season in um in the Twitch chat uh coming through. But just as a reminder, if you also want to send those through uh on our Twitter at TV and D that'd be the most convenient place for us to, to see those at hand. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, we should go. Are we all doing devil horns. Let's Hard do rocking. devil horns. Yeah. Rock on. Bye everybody. <laughs>